What's up guys, Joe at Field UTV here. Today we're showing off this badass Overland build. This is a 2023 Can-Am X3 Max. It's the uh, XRS Turbo RR with the Smart Shocks. Our customer Danny uh, called Tanner, our service manager, and he said, hey Tanner, I want the ultimate Can-Am X3 Max for overlanding, kind of a do-it-all rig. And uh, this is what Tanner and his team came up with. This car has everything on it, you guys. I mean, you want to you want to talk about over the top um, suspension, interior, electronics, comfortability, performance, the whole nine yards. This car has it. I'm going to go over everything, kind of front to back, uh, of what we've done to this car, um, and then we'll hop in the interior and finish it out. All right, guys. Starting at the front of the machine, sticking out front, we have the Baja Designs Onyx Six Lights. This is their shock tower light, and then that's your, their 40 inch light bar. We love Baja Designs here at Fuel UTV. It's a high quality light. It puts out a great uh, spread. Um, with both of these, Danny can see the night. Um, on the sides here, we have the Sector 7 sawtooth mirrors. Um, these mirrors are freaking badass, man. They have built in turn signals. They have this kind of machined look on them. They're just a great looking mirror. Up front, we have the CT Raceworks recon front bumper this houses a worn axon winch we really like these worn winches they're super easy to install it's two wires to the battery and then one wire for the switch um, super clean super reliable we, we, we love the worn winches suspension wise guys uh, this car has hcr front and back this is their dual sport kit we kept it pretty stealth with the with the black powder coat um, they're holding keller ball joints we love keller ball joints they're greasable Made in America, uh, best ball joint on the market in our opinion. Suspension wise, um, we went with MTS off-road. It has MTS's uh, valving and spring kit. Um, and then it has uh, CT Raceworks limit straps. The beautiful part about the CT Raceworks limit straps is they connect to their shock tower and their gusset kit. So it really strengthens up the front of this Can-Am. This package should really uh, you know, be reliable for Danny. Um, you shouldn't have any issues on the front end of this machine. It should handle anything he throws at it. All right, guys, let's head to the side here and I'll go over the whole cab package. So, Field UTV, front glass windshield. Uh, Tanner and the boys uh, designed this front windshield to give the biggest field of view. It also works with the Can-Am OEM wiper. Um, it just looks freaking awesome, man. It looks factory. The guys, uh, guys in the shop do a real good job um, with their craftsmanship. We have the um, BRP OEM lower doors, the BRP enclosure. This keeps all the debris and all the stuff out, um, keeping Danny and his passengers clean. Um, it also keeps it warm inside, you know, for the winter rides. Uh, we're here in the Northwest. We love to play in the snow, the rain, the mud. And so uh, this keeps everything inside clean. So down below guys, protection wise, we have our tried and true factory UTV skid plates. We put factory UTV skids on all of our machines. Um, they're made in America, made down in California, um, and they're just a phenomenal product. The fit and finish is, is top of the line. On the side here, you can see Super ATV's new tree kickers. Um, we really like these because they, they come out to the edge of the tire. Uh, it keeps trees and, and um, stumps and anything else off the side of the body. And last but not least, guys, we have the Mudbusters fender flares. Uh, these offer the ultimate protection on these 72 inch machines. It keeps mud and debris uh, off the side of the machine. They also look pretty darn good for fender flares. You know, not everybody loves that look, but on this machine, they really make it stand out. All right, guys, so out back, uh, let's start with the performance wise. Performance wise, we got all Evo. Um, we have an Evo exhaust, we have an Evo cat delete, uh, we have Evo charge tubes, blow off valve, intake, um, all the performance bolt on, so to speak, are all Evolution Power Sports. Clutching wise, this car does have the P drive, and so we did a KWI um, AOP clutch kit uh, in the machine, uh, and that's to, to help turn these big 35-inch uh, Rockzilla tires. So Danny wanted a, a combo, so he wanted a tire for, for summertime, for when he's in Moab and down in the southern states and rock crawling, um, and then he wanted another tire package for here in the northwest. So uh, right now, we're running the 35-inch Sticky Rockzillas. Um, these are wrapped around the Fuel Tech wheels. 
Uh, we did a custom gold powder coat on these. Um, and then his other tires are a 35 inch Maxxis Carnivore, or again, wrapped around the fuel tech wheels. All right, out back guys, suspension wise, um, we did our tried and true ZRP radius rods. We really like these radius rods. They're easy to install. They're super clean looking. Um, they give the high clearance. Um, we have ZRP's pull plate and their dog bones. Uh, this strengthens everything, everything radius rod wise. Um, again, uh, HCR trailing arms and MTS suspension. It's just the full package with HCR, MTS, and ZRP. Uh, it hits all the check boxes. So up top, obviously this is the ultimate overland build. You gotta have a spare tire. This is the OEM uh, BRP spare tire carrier. The guys in the shop added on. Uh, normally this only fit a 32 inch tire, but Danny wanted to carry uh, a 35. And so the guys uh, used some DOM tubing, added on. It came out killer. It actually looks like an OEM uh, carrier. Down here guys, we have the OEM uh, Can-Am cooler. Um, this is to carry all your drinks. It, you can also store gear in it. Um, and it just looks really clean, keeps the dust and everything out. So obviously every machine needs to have a fire extinguisher. Um, we love the, uh, the Tech 208 mounts. They're super easy to use. They're super clean looking. They come right, right off in case of an emergency and they go right back on. So every build should have a Tech 208 fire extinguisher. Let's check out what we got up on top. All right guys, every, every Overland build's gotta have a roof rack. Up top here, we got two roll packs, gas cans. Um, that way for those long trips, you got extra fuel. We have the AGM manual jack. Uh, the guys used Colpin mounts to mount this. It turned out super clean. Uh, these AGM jacks are killer. Make it very easy to change a tire uh, while you're out on the trail. Storage wise guys, we have the Savage UTV cases and then we have the Savage Revolve spare tire uh, storage box. Um, the spare tire storage box are, are killer. You can, you can keep a spare belt in there, you can keep your air hose in there, you can keep your air impact driver in there. They do a great job. Um, you guys know Savage UTV has their belt case. Um, this keeps your belt and all your belt changing tools at a nice and clean place. And then every machine needs to have a first aid kit. Uh, this is Savage's first aid kit. Super easy to access. Um, they do a great job on storage solutions on these machines. Let's head down and check out the interior. This car has it all inside here. Every electronic accessory that you could want, this car has. From, uh, from sound system to headsets, heater, you name it, it has it. So starting out with the Switch Pros down here. Every car that we build and we put a Switch Pros in, we put this start button on here. Makes it super easy to access. It looks very clean. Um, the Switch Pros has all of your controls for your intercom, your radio, all of your lighting, uh, the heater. We even have an ARB mounted air compressor underneath the driver's uh, dash that the Switch Pros controls. So moving up top here, one cool feature, this is a Kemimoto tablet mount. Inside the guys hit a full rugged radio intercom system. So this car not only has an M1 radio, but it also has a 696 remote intercom. That way, Danny can talk to all of his passengers inside the car. It's controlled over here on a switch. Super clean, nice and hidden. I think this is a really cool feature that our team did. So not only does this car have the intercom system, but it also has a full SSV sound system. It's got kick speakers down below. It has the big old tower speakers behind your head. And again, it's controlled over there on a, on a switch. And it just is super clean, super killer, has the whole package. This car is street legal. Uh, Danny, when he's driving across the country or he's driving through the state, uh, he's got to be street legal. So it has a full XTC turn signal kit. Um, it makes it very easy to drive it on the road. Super clean install. Uh, every car needs a turn signal kit in our opinion. Last but not least guys, we got to talk about this brand motion HD camera system on this car. It has both front and rear cameras. You can record from it. It is super clear. It's 1080 HD. Uh, it's got a 180 degree view. Like I said, you can switch between front and rear. It makes it really easy to back up a car like this with a full enclosure, the spare tire in the back. These things are absolutely killer. We hope to have these soon. Definitely recommend these, uh, these camera systems. So wrapping it up storage wise, long trips. Uh, this car has the full Can-Am storage package. It has the Can-Am center console bag. 
It has Can-Am door bags on both sides, the upper and lower. Uh, we found that we really like the way that these fit. They, they store a ton, of, a ton of stuff in them um, and they really look really clean. All right guys, well that does it for this build. We hope you guys liked it as much as we did. We think Danny's gonna be blown away when he gets to pick this up tomorrow. If you guys want any of these parts or accessories on your car, please give us a call or check out our website, fieldutv.com. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments below. Please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you out on the trail.